Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make chocolate ganache. Chocolate ganache is that beautiful velvety chocolate sauce, or you want to call it, or coating, that's used to make a billion desserts. Uh, we use it at the restaurant to ice cakes with, to fill cakes with, to make chocolate buttercream, to dip uh, cookies in. It's good as a, um, a topping for ice cream. I mean, it's just two simple ingredients that you can jazz up and kind of add more th more flavors to um, customize it to your taste. But today I'm just making the basic recipe for chocolate ganache, which is about six ounces of really, really good chocolate. I love Belgian chocolate. Calabao happens to be my absolute favorite and it's what we use at the restaurant. Um, you don't want to use chocolate chips for these. I know these look like chocolate chips, but they're not. They're chocolate calais, calates, I don't know <laughs> how to pronounce it. But they're like couverture chocolate that's you know sold to um, bakeries. You might be able to find it. You don't have to use these. You can just get a bar of your favorite baking chocolate, the highest quality that you can find, and sort of just chop it up roughly and heat up some heavy whipping cream. I have about three quarters of a cup over here. And as soon as it comes to a boil, I'm going to pour it over my chocolate. And once it melts, voila, you have chocolate ganache. All right, so the cream has come to a boil and I'm just going to pour it over my chocolate here and let it sit for a few seconds to kind of soften them up. Now this is again the very, very basic, basic, basic recipe, which is delicious as it is. And I'm going to use it today because I'm making cream puffs and I'm going to dip my cream puffs in it and it's a perfect glaze for them. Um, but again, you can use it for the millions of things that whatever you want, I mean really, whatever you want, you can make chocolate truffles with this. You can add, if you wanted to, you could add some orange zest to it. You can add a little bit of orange juice if you wanted to. You could add some raspberry jam a tiny bit. If you let this cool overnight, it makes the best chocolate truffles in the world. Um, another really good uh, addition to this, which really, really deepens the flavor of chocolate, is if you have some espresso powder or um, instant coffee powder, you could add about like a quarter teaspoon to this. It won't taste like coffee at all, but it'll really like bring out the chocolatiness of the chocolate, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So now I'm gonna whisk this all up and it's gonna turn into a shiny, beautiful, velvety, chocolate, decadent. You see, once you keep, you keep whisking and this is what it ends up looking like. Look at that. Just beautiful, all the chocolate is melted. If for some reason all of your chocolate didn't melt, you can put it on top of a double boiler with water that has just come to a boil. Make sure to turn the um, heat off once you put the bowl on top and just let it sit there for a few minutes. Just let it sit there for a few minutes until all of the chocolate melts. Or you can pop it in the microwave for like five seconds at a time and mix it and it'll be just perfect. That's it. This is chocolate ganache, guys. So again, that's it. I thumb, thumbs up this video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe, post comments down below. I'd love to hear what else you know, you'd like to learn. Get this recipe and more on my website, www.demetriusdishes.com. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.